this is Robert with Go Engineer Technical Support Department, and we're doing another Quick Tips video. This is part two of a three-part series on how to use the mold tools in SolidWorks. Here we have an overlarge shirt button that we've been working on. Last time we drafted our part and used draft analysis to make sure that we were going to be able to create a, a proper split for our mold. I'm going to turn draft analysis off just by clicking on that button. There's our part. Today we are going to make split lines and parting lines. and They're not the same thing. In SolidWorks they have a split line tool which you can use to scribe on a face uh, and split it into multiple faces. And the parting line tool will actually create the line where our mold body is going to split along our part. And we'll talk about the difference between them. With this part we don't have a clear already existing parting line. Now, if you already have something, there's an edge on your part that just makes sense to put the parting line there, then you'll just jump straight into using the parting line tool. If you don't have a clear parting line, like in this part here, there's no actual edge to select, though it is pretty clear where it's going to be. It's going to cut right through here. You can do one of two things. You can create a split line and then use that split line to create your parting line. Or if you have a certain shaped parts like this one, uh, the parting line tool will be able to create this line on its own. I'll show you both methods. Let's use the split line first. The split line has you draw a sketch. So I actually need to draw my sketch first. So we're going to go back to isometric view and I'm going to choose the front plane and sketch. We're going to draw a line. We want this to split our part. The line must go all the way through the body in some cases you might want to extend past and it needs to actually cut the face such that it will create two or more unique faces you can't have a line that just terminates in the middle of space like uh, like this for example where it's just floating in the middle of the face this would not work as a uh, split line so I draw my line and I'm just drawing it straight down the middle I'm going to exit my sketch and I'm going to choose curves split line from the features tool or on the mold tools there's just the split line tool is just right there so I've so it automatically selected my sketch now I need to select what faces to split I just want to split this one click OK and you can see that it has drawn a line now back to isometric view we'll use our parting line tool to pick up that again with all of our mold tools we're always going to be choosing direction of pull so that's by selecting a, f a face and it will give you the normal to direction vector off of that face. One degree is what we've been using for this part. If you need it to be different, then it's that's fine. Uh, we're, then we're going to choose draft analysis and it's going to split our part. We got green and red. If everything's green and red, then that's great. Of course, this face is pink because we selected it, but it would be green if it weren't. Um, that's perfect. We like that. Once it's been selected, you'll click into this parting lines box and you'll choose the edges oops, of our part. You can see it says parting line 2. That 2 means that there's two lines that make it up. And we've got our parting line. Everything's happy. And we're just going to click OK. And then we get this nice blue line. That blue line is our parting line. Now, there's one other way to do it. Because our part is made the way that it is, we can actually do this uh, another way. I'm, I'm actually deleting these features, getting rid of the sketch. Um, if you remember from our draft analysis, it was basically green and red. That means that there's a natural splitting line in here. And in some cases, SolidWorks can pick that up on its own. So I'm just going to start the parting lines tool, and I'm going to choose my direction of pull. And then I'm going to check this box that says split faces. Now what that'll do is it will automatically generate split lines where it thinks it ought to in order to make a good uh, a draft and a good split line. So I'm going to choose draft analysis again and it automatically split our two faces. And so again I can just click on this line, click OK, and we have our parting line. This parting line is essential for going to the next step, which is going to be shut off surfaces, parting surfaces, and the tooling split, which I will cover in the next video. This has been Robert Murdoch, Technical Support Department with Go Engineer. Have a great day.